All right, everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3. We're gonna hop right in, and it's a lot, it's a lot. It's a lot happens, let's go. What's keeping him? Can we call him? Okay, phew! I hope this is him anyway. Regis, are you seeing anything? My friend, my pal, my buddy? Ren. Sienna, Sienna, I have a question I must ask you. Did you truly feign it all? That which bound us was a Ruse. Dead love. It's not that simple. I... Oh no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. Huh? What? But how? Was he gonna kill her? She will pay! Uh oh. You never should have meddled, Butcher! Well, I, I brought her here! Regis! Regis! Let's see if I can do... 
I can knock him out of the sky. Where is he? I can't. I can't see him. Okay. from here? Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, like, no way! It'll be like Skyrim! Uh... 50-50-50... Is there something that's better? This is a 10 second duration. Oh my gosh, I'm so low! Game 
got it switched just in time. No! Oh my god. I can't have- My toxicity's too high! There's a couple different debt maps I can hit. The war of attrition! No, 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 please! If it hits me again, I'm dead. I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead. Woo, there we go. Okay. Alright. couple different okay hang on okay 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 there we go I have nothing left I have nothing left if you kill Regis I'll be so peeved Just can. <coughs> we just tried to save you. You tried to kill him. to me. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. Wow. I thought we that laugh could be reasoned with, but apparently not. We just we just wanted it too badly too, I guess. Cause he was gonna kill her. But oh, it's a good thing I got her the ribbon then, right? Otherwise she'd have died. And Anna 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 Henrietta would be so peeved at us. So yay! Otherwise, she would have died right there because she was separate from us. Oh, wow. 
Wow, okay. Regis! My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut, Shut up. up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available. And according to the best tailoring practices. I look like a... I do look like but a twit. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Rather not bicker about taste. Don't like to. It's neither interesting nor productive. This particular witcher has an inborn intolerance for formal occasions. Yet he's to attend just such an event shortly. I expect that's the source of his prickliness. Why aren't you so coming with me? things personally, Master Taylor. Rather pity him. For in truth, stage fright overwhelms him. <laughs> he trembles at the thought that he has no notion how to behave in the presence of Her Grace's Majesty. Hmm. As well he should. Or <laughs> that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol. Why can't I wear some sort of armor? On form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Yep. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I love I have him. no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Heck yeah, my friend. Count on it. Yes! <laughs> mm. Ceremonies, medals honoring virtues, just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. Mm -hmm. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Mm -hmm. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Hmm. Yeah, like what happened? Regis, Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, Shut up, I man. conducted it's not my a fault. little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began sure by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The okay. letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucket full, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Interesting. Oh, okay, so we can meet there, or... Let's just go. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together. Assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now, to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. 
Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. I look better I in my be armor. Careful. He's running around like a dandy. Oh, Garrett looks ridiculous in formal wear. Oh, How's business? It's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech proponent. and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Clean oh boots, my gosh. clean souls. A fine slogan. I'm not even wearing boots. How's business? Well enough, I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Meh. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. Each was different. Some had mismatched boots. Others had no boots at all. That oh, would be something he'd notice. I know. They all had no home. Kid, my patience is starting to run a little <laughs> thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. I'm gonna we get must murdered. Visit the shelter. Look around inside. Who's Damien? I'll kill for a bite. Yeah, same, man. It's lunchtime. Um. Oh, I'm too heavy? Oh, by like one? What do, what do I have? Oh, is it my new armor? Uh, sell my cheapest or drop my cheapest sword? I don't know. Drop. Drop. Yeah, sure. I'll drop those. Oh, here we are. You've to move your little camp elsewhere. Got it? This is a decent district. We need no filth folk barring about. Gentlemen, there's no need to raise your voices. Let's keep our calm. Our calm is exactly what you disturb. Your vagrant spring pistons. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion. I'm gonna get beat Gentlemen, up so bad. Calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. 
The shelter, them living here, bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor, fighter for justice. Damn you, sense. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Some old guys? Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Yeah, you oh, look just yes. as dirty as the Hear rest of them. Tatua. He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. I hope so. Last time I got really beat up by a bunch of humans. Can I put something on my, um... How do you do that so fast? Me so hard. You are one down, Squib. No, I was trying to go this way. Oh, no, Twitter, try me. They hit me so hard and I hit them for like nothing. Got one. Just as hard as the dead lap boss fight. Okay, if I can get him into a corner, he can't do anything. All right. I can take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Hmm. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Okay. Thanks. We we'll have time? Wait. Nice of you to let us. I'm just sitting around in a beggar place. 
in my nice finery I couldn't have changed before coming. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve the soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Ah. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeak? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you. As he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. Um... It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said. And she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. <laughs> Thank you. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, is it Anna? Uh, is it Anna Henrietta? I, I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. Yep. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. So she wouldn't Puzzle. suffer. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. <sighs> Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. I See knew it. I told you. Start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes, and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask yourself. This is going longer than I thought. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her. But I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. False. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. I think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Eh? Coming with? Of course not. 
I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's Long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions' rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going up to the <laughs> drunk because you hate Sienna. I've never been fond of categorical stories, <laughs> but I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. All right. At least, at least, at least I know Regis will be safe. Oh, Damien's the guard, the, the the guard dude. Okay, so this is getting interesting. So you could just totally skip past all of this. You could just like, you could just totally ignore everything going on. You could just go to the ceremony and be done with it. Like we didn't have to go talk to the boot black and figure it out. Also. Would it have been better if Sienna had died at this point? Now I'm like, and if we'd have done the other way, would we have saved Detlaf? Like, by following Regis's idea, did we actually kill Detlaf? Like, and if we'd have gone the other way, would Detlaf have lived? Um, and because I got that ribbon, like, would it have been better if Sienna had died to Detlaf? Like, would I, I probably still would have had to fight Detlaf. Um, but then we wouldn't have this... Right now, it wouldn't be like, I wouldn't be able to talk to Sienna right now. I'd just be able to take proof to Anna Henrietta. I wouldn't even, I don't even know if I'd be able to do this right now. Like, if I'd be, like, thrown in prison. If I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be getting accolades right now. I'd be, like, running for my life because Anna Henrietta is like, You killed my sister! I had her safe! Blah, 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 blah. Um, but, wow, okay, so this is so cool! <laughs> this is so cool, I really like this a lot. So, sorry, there probably was a weird, there was probably a weird split somewhere in the middle there, but I appreciate you guys for watching both of these parts. Um, this is getting really exciting, I thought maybe we were gonna be done, but not, we have a whole other subplot to finish up, so, nice on Project Red for tying up loose ends, so. Cause I hadn't even thought about it, that the fifth person hadn't been killed yet. Um, but it met told you she wanted to kill... I told you she wanted to kill Anna Henrietta because she left her. She abandoned her, basically. Even even as a child, she wouldn't be able to... Even though as a child, she wouldn't be able to do anything. As an adult, she could have been like, Hey, I pardon you. Come back. So I think Sienna makes good points, but Sienna has also done terrible things. Like, these people are really complicated people. Like, I love it. There's no easy answer. There's zero easy answers. So... Anyway, thank you all for joining me on this one again, and I will see you in the next <laughs> I will see you in the next one.